What is up, obscure mic people? It's Bark Studio. Su Su Studio. Still a mess. Still a mess. It's still a mess. Everything's still a mess, but that's okay. I'm working on it little by little. I did a few boxes, put some stuff away, and, uh, you know, I'm not going to let those things get in the way of bringing you really cool, obscure microphones. Like, why would I let that get in the way? So today, I'm talking on the Shure SM7DB, as you can see. Tom Buck would be proud. But I found this little gem. It is the Shure PE10D, which is a really cool looking, almost like a prologue looking microphone. But look at that red Shure logo there, like that sweet, sweet red Shure logo. That black head basket, that gray body, mmm, alien like, mmm, yeah. Roger Smith. Meh. Some people get that, some won't. Any who's in. I like all that stuff. It's good, um, you know, nightcap TV. That's terrible, Donna. My name is not Donna, but sure, P-E-10-D. I got this for like 50 bucks, 40 or 50 bucks, I think. Found it really randomly. Normally, I would do the SM58 opener, but the mess behind me, I don't know where the SM58 is. It's in one of these boxes. It's here somewhere. But I just can't. Maybe maybe we'll come back to it. Maybe we'll do like a little short of the two compared. But not a lot of information on this microphone, the PE-10D. But I'll tell you one thing. The I, I got really lucky. This thing is in immaculate shape. And it is it's just really nice. I know. Shut up, Bark, and show me the damn microphone. Just so everyone knows, I've got both of these mics, well, I will anyways, uh, running into the Yamaha AG06 Mark II mixer. I've showed it before. I'm not going to show it again. There's not a picture of it on the box, so I can't anyways. I've got it set up perfectly in my studio, and if I drag it over here, it means I'm pulling cables and shit. I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to. Uh, let's switch over to the PE-10D now. Super rare, super weird, never seen it, obscure microphone. That's what this channel is all about. Let's go. SM7DB right out of the way. And uh, now we've got the PE-10D rocking and rolling on the channel. Obviously a brighter sound, not as smooth, dark, or rich, but more of a clarity champion, more of a handheld stage mic or an instrument mic mind you something like that maybe sm 57 ish maybe i don't have a 57 i probably need one to do more comps like that but anyways this is the sure pe 10d this is what it sounds like and let's go ahead and run it through some tests handling noise first now granted just because the studio is a hot mess i also I'm using like a braided Amazon Basics XLR cable. Don't think that'll add to the noise because I can rub it. That's what she might have said if there was no one to help her. I can rub it and it makes no noise. <laughs> it's, that's what a lot of that's what a lot of she is saying out there, folks. Foreplay is a thing. Use it to your advantage. Nobody just, okay, I can't, I, I need to, I might as well just start like a, a sexy time podcast. Don't be lazy, men. Do the foreplay. <laughs> shit. Okay. Anyways, let's, let's, yeah. So rubbing the cord, can't hear it. So it's a decent cord apparently, but let's pass the microphone back and forth in my hands in the dirty studio. It's dirty. All right. little bit of handling noise nothing i mean it's there it's not terrible it's not cheap metal it's more just it picks it up and i'd say that could have something to do with the cable maybe but again not a not a ton from the cable yeah you know, whatever all right plosives time peter piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza peter piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza and when you get 
right on top of the PE-10D. This is what it sounds like when you're directly on top of the PE-10D from Sure. Now we're going to take the microphone and we're going to spin it around town. Bring it around town. Going to go 90 degrees off axis rejection. 180 degrees off axis rejection. 90 degrees yet again and slowly back around to the front of the microphone. Yeah. I kind of like this thing. Like, there's something to be said for a microphone that you want to throw in a travel bag, but not have it bulging out. Like eyes. That's what I was thinking. Like eyes. Bulging out. Bulge. Eyeballs. Right? That's where all of our minds went, is bulging eyeballs. But since this doesn't have that ball grill it's like virtually unknown when it's in my bag i forgot where i put it and it was in my laptop bag in one of the compartments but since it doesn't have the ball it was it was hiding it was hiding it was hiding <laughs> i don't know i don't know what's wrong with me tonight i'm just having a good time i guess i missed the luxurious youtube channel that is obscure mics that pays no bills <laughs> but makes me happy. Makes me happy. PE10D. Let's go ahead and do the on off switch because it does have one. See if it makes any audible click, anything like that. All right. Little bit of an audible click. Nothing crazy, but pretty nice, man. You got a mute switch. You got all kinds of uh, good things going here. Now I do got to say, this is a low Z and high Z microphone, and that's all controlled in the switch. All the way up is low Z. There's a middle part of the switch that's off, and the bottom position is high Z. Not to be confused with high C, which my kids drink a ton of and are making me go broke. I really wish I could find the SM58 because I think that this would be very favorable. So if you want to see a quick comp of this in the SM58, why wouldn't you? Comment, add it to your comment, because some of the comments are just pure gold, but then at the end say, yes, SM58 test. Something like that. Because this is a super cool mic. And uh, Pags over at MEI Studio, which makes killer videos, by the way. If you haven't subscribed to Pags, you probably should. He's really freaking good at doing the YouTube video thing. But been trying to find one of these for my buddy Pags. I may just have to send him this one. But man, I kind of love it. It's kind of the perfect travel mic. I think it sounds pretty good on my voice. Granted, you know, it's not as smooth as this thing, but the clarity is just nice. Like I would like for it to have a little more bottom end. But it doesn't have to. I still think it's a pretty nice sounding microphone that I've never, ever seen anywhere else. And that is what the channel is all about. The mics that are obscure. But I do have to do some videos in the upcoming future that pays the bills, which are sponsored videos, blah, 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 all that good stuff. But I, there's some cool stuff coming up. So the PE-10D from Sure is out of here. Again, I've never seen this microphone. There's no reason to BB saw it because you'll probably never see this microphone. And if you do, or if you own one, or if you found one somewhere, let me know in the comments down below. It would be most helpful if you would point me in the direction of that and uh, I could get another one. So Pags could have one too. Obscure mics. P10D's out of here. Did I already say that? I don't know. I'm still getting used to doing this again. Literally, it had been weeks since I had made a video. So I'm a little rusty. Not that I was ever on top of my game, but I'm even more below my game now. Peace the out.